Good morning. Welcome back to Bible and Blues. Today we're going to do Psalm 28. Can you believe it has been 28 days we've been doing this? I don't know. It's uh, kind of crazy to me. So let's just jump right in. Psalm 28. To you I call, O Lord, my rock. Do not turn a deaf ear to me. For if you remain silent, I will be like those who have gone down into the pit. Have my Hear my cry for mercy as I call to you for help and lift my and I lift my up my hands toward your most holy place. Do not drag me away with the wicked, with those who do evil, who speak cordially with their neighbors, but harbor malice in their hearts. Repay them for their deeds and do for and for their evil work. Repay them for what their hands have done, and bring back upon them what they deserve. Since they show no regard for the works of the Lord and what his what his hands have done, he will tear down them down and never build them up again. Praise be to the Lord, for he has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him, and I am helped. My heart leaps for joy, and I will give thanks to him in song. The Lord is my str- is the strength of his people, a fortress of salvation for his anointed one. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Thanks be to God. This says the reading of the Lord. That's that's a good prayer. So, I actually kind of want to talk about Ash Wednesday. Uh, we went to service last night. Um, and uh, I utilized a picture of, uh, you know, with the ashes for my uh, Deacon Ramblings, uh, which are very sporadic ones I do. I don't have a schedule on those. Ah, coffee. But... Um, so, you know, we do service. I don't know how, how your church does uh, Ash Wednesday service, if your church does it, not all. In the Protestant world is a hit and miss. There's quite a few that don't. Um, not a lot of Presbyterian churches do. Ours does. Um, I can't say why. I'm, I, I appreciate that they do. It was, it's been one of those really hectic weeks, and, uh, um, I was, I appreciated that, the opportunity to sit down and rest in service uh, and, and before the Lord and just to, and take some rest in it. Because what we do is, you know, we, we read Psalm 51 as a, as a, as a kind of a call to worship, uh, call and response. Uh, and then afterwards, it, we, uh, they set up a lot of activities that help you examine your personal soul and your relationship with God. Uh, uh, and one of the things that touched me was, uh, um, they use, they utilize a, a mix of modern technology and, 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 uh, uh, and not modern technology. So, uh, one of the things that I, that touched me was, um, they took a picture of you, uh, using Instagram filters and, uh, with a, with a, with a filter mask. Okay, of some kind. Your choice. Your choosing doesn't matter. And then, because of the filters that we put it, put forth in the world through social media, through YouTube, through Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, the best foot forward we tend to put, um, and it's uh, you know it's it's you do it for long enough, and you just get used to doing it. I think, and you don't have, and you put the filter forth. Um, of what you want the world to see you as. And that was the point of it. And um, uh, for me, uh, that was kind of a point because I'm relatively social media stuff. Um, so anyway, I want to bring that up. Uh, how was your Ash Wednesday? Uh, did you celebrate it? Did you not? Do you think it's just a bunch of bunk? Uh, do you think it's uh, a good thing to do? Is it a, is a thing you wish your church did? Uh, tell me, uh, get, get, give me some ideas of what's, uh, what's on your mind about Ash Wednesday, about Lent. Uh, and uh, I'll talk to you later. God bless. You have a great day.